So I'm gonna be starting off by priming my eyelids. I'm going in with the Juvia's Place Concealer in the shade, I believe this is 11. And I'm just gonna be using that to use as a base for my eyeshadow. And I'm just gonna blend that out with my Beauty Blender. I do apply a little bit in my lower lash line. And I'm just going to set that with my Loose setting powder, I believe it's Kalahari by Genius Place as well. Or no, I used Gobi, I believe. Maybe. Anyway, I'm going to go into the Queen palette and I'm going to go in with that shade 7, which is so bomb. That pink is so bright. I love, love, love it. Um, if you guys know anything about pinks, they do tend to stain the eyes. That's normal. So, I mean, if you guys use this and it stains your eyes, so be it it's not a big deal it does you know wash off eventually but pink usually does stain the eyelids it stained mine but literally by the next morning and I went to bed it was you know gone so yeah love this pink I wanted this look to be very bright and dramatic I did um, do a different look using this palette before which I only posted on my Instagram so if you want to see that look then definitely check out my Instagram I will have it there um, and I'm just taking that color and putting it on my la lower lash line as well next I'm gonna go in with Olay and I'm just gonna use this color to blend out the edges I could have used um, that other shade the coral shade I forgot the name of it I could have used that shade for this as well but you know I just wanted to use the red so if you're not feeling as bold to do the red definitely use um, the other coral shade. Next I'm going to go in with the shade number, I believe this is 13 from the Juvia's Place I Am Magic Concealer and I'm just going to cut my crease. You guys seen me do this trick before in a previous video to cut my crease and this kind of just works for me. And I'm going to blend that out. And then I'm actually going to use um, the shade Adrian. I didn't plan on using a purple in this video because I feel like I always draw into pinks and purples. So I wanted to just use one or the other, but it just it just went and I was just going with the flow. Next, I'm actually going to go in with one of the Juvia's Place highlighters. It's the shade Royalty 2, I believe. And I'm going to use this for my lid color. So pretty, guys. The shade is super bomb. And I'm just going to take my time and apply that to my lid. I'm just going to go back in with Adrian and just reapply that just so that it doesn't get lost in the sauce. And I'm going to apply that a little bit to my inner tear duct as well. Not too much, just slightly, almost like a halo, but not, I don't want it to be too obvious. And then I just kind of go back and forth and reapply Royalty 2, that way it doesn't get too blended in. Next, I'm going to go in and start priming my face. This is the DDF or Mineralizer Serum that I applied first, which I have been loving. Then I'm going to go in with the MYX Hydra Touch Primer, which this primer is really, really good. I need to get a full-size bottle of this. I just have like a sample container of it, but I really, really like it underneath the I Am Magic Foundation. Um, which you guys will see, I did pick up the shade Gabon, which you guys have been dying for me to try. So that is what you are seeing me use right now. It's Gabon. Um, the shade is actually really, really nice. I like it. I feel like, you know, it, it matches me. And thank you guys for recommending it and, you know, saying that I get it. But it's the shade 300. It's really, really nice. If you guys want to see my full review on the I Am Magic Foundation, I will have a couple of those videos linked down below and in the cards uh, so you guys can check that out but now I'm gonna go on with highlights I'm gonna use the shade number 13 and the shade number I believe 11 and I mixed the two I didn't have to mix the two but I had the shade 11 so I'm gonna use it um, and I'm just going to blend that out this is gonna be like a full glam like extra beat that I don't normally do on a regular basis but yeah I'm gonna go in and use that to highlight in the normal highlighting area Shade number four. 
pore um, from the I Am Magic Concealer and I'm just going to blend this out using one of my brushes from the Moda Collection. I will have a link down below for all the brushes that I use in this video which are from Moda and I do have a coupon code and affiliate link with them. So definitely check it out and purchase. Um, it does help support my channel um, when you guys do that. So you save some money and I get a little commission off of it. So yeah. Just check it out if you guys are interested. Next, I'm gonna set my under eye with the As I Am, not the As I Am, the Juvia's Place Setting Powder in Kalahari, which you guys seen me use this before. Um, I like to apply this preferably with a brush underneath my eyes, and then everywhere else I use my Beauty Blender, but underneath my eyes, I feel like it works out better and does not you know, get all like creasy and kind of dry underneath there. Next, I'm gonna go in with that same shade seven and just reapply that underneath my lower lash line because it kind of got lost in the sauce when I was applying my concealer. Then I'm going to go in, this is the Urban Decay um, liquid liner in I believe Space Cowboy and I'm just going to apply a little bit of that in my inner tear duct just to spice this look up a little bit, give it a little something extra because um, obviously I was being super extra this day. And then I'm going to go back in with Adrian and blend that um, underneath seven on my lower lash line as well. And I'm going to line my eye with the Urban Decay 24-7 liner in uh, Perversion. And I'm just going to apply my mascara. I wish I had some lashes for this look, but the mascara was fine. And you guys know I don't really like applying lashes, but I feel like lashes would have kind of set this look off a little bit. But you know, apply your lashes if you have them. Next, I'm gonna go in with the setting powder. I think it's Naib, um, but it's the darkest shade that they have from Juvia's Place, and I'm just going to apply that all over my face using another brush from Royal Atlantical, the Moda Collection. Um, and same thing, I'm gonna go in with contour with my usual Black Radiance Contour Palette in Medium Deep. And I'm gonna use the shade Sculpt from that palette and just kind of contour the top of my nose. I'm not really gonna bring it all the way down. It's not really my thing. And then I'm gonna use the shade 7 as my blush from the same palette. And it's so pretty. And I'm gonna use Royalty 2 as well to highlight my little nose. I always do an exclamation point. That's like typical Renell what I do when I highlight, if I highlight, and I'm just gonna go in with a teeny bit of highlight on, you know, those high points of my face. I don't really like doing this a lot, so I just really do it very, very lightly. But I do, and I have been loving applying my highlight to my Cupid's bow. I just feel like it gives my, my little area a little, little depth. And I'm gonna go in with Sculpt again from that Black Radiance palette and just really kind of define that Cupid's bow because my little dip is a little, little lackluster. Now I'm going to go in and line my lips with the NYX pencil in Espresso, I believe. And I went in with this shade first. It's Royalty. Um, I wasn't really feeling it for this look, but I love this combo with this lip liner. Um, I love this combo. And I'm just going to go in and set my face. And just so you guys can see this look, with this lip combination, I do go on with the other lip, which I actually end up liking better for this look. But this is this lip combo, guys. Let's give it a moment. Okay, so I took that off and I decided to go in with Fumi instead, which kind of kind of went with the vibe I was trying to go for. Um, and that completes this video, guys. I hope you guys enjoy. Definitely thumbs up and subscribe to my channel if you haven't already. And I will catch you in the next one. Bye.